Hey guys, it's Summer. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. I am so glad that you decided to click on today's video. If you are new, welcome. My name is Summer and I'm currently on a financial journey to pay off my debt while saving money at the same time. I do budget using a zero-based budget and with the help of the cash envelope system, and I am paying off my debt using the Avalanche method. If you are a returning subscriber, thank you so much for coming back and joining me. In today's video, we are going to be stuffing my cash envelopes for the month of May, and we are going to be stuffing $1,340. I do have my cash tray to the side and I already have the money sorted. I was not able to go to the bank during working hours, so I did have to pull money from the teller. I did do a money exchange at home with my sinking funds. That way I can get a variety of bills versus having straight 20s from the ATM. So I did go back to using my Filofax wallet for the month of May. I wanted to do something um, different. So I went ahead and pulled out my Filofax and then I did print these envelopes. I bought these envelopes from The Budget Mom. If you like these envelopes, you can purchase them from her website, thebudgetmom.com. So let's go ahead and get started with today's video. Um, I do not know how I'm going to stuff my envelopes. I don't know the denominations that I'm going to be using, but let's go ahead and figure that out together. So credit card's not going to get anything. I just use this envelope to pay myself back. So when I make purchases on my credit card, I will take money from the corresponding envelope and put it in the credit card. That way I pay my credit card off at the end of the month. Back to the bank, I use this in a similar way. When I charge things on my debit card, I do take the money out of the corresponding envelope and put it in the back to the bank. And then when I go to the bank, I do deposit that money back to the bank. So I'm gonna start backwards. Um, that way I can stuff the envelopes um, faster. So let's start with self-care. Self-care is going to get its usual $300. So let's give self-care a $100 bill, two $50 bills, three $20 bills, so that's $260, $270, $280, to 90 and then let's give it 10 ones. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So let's go ahead and count that to make sure that this is $300. 100, 150, 200, 220, 240, 260, 270, 280, 285, 290, 291, 292, 293, 294, 295, 296, 297, 298, 299, 300. So $300 is there. I am not going to write the amount on the envelope just to save time. I will update my trackers at a later time. Miscellaneous is going to get $50. Let's give it two $20 bills a five dollar bill and five ones one two three four five so this should be fifty dollars twenty forty forty five forty six forty seven forty eight forty nine fifty so miscellaneous has fifty dollars Household is going to get $50, so let's give it two $20 bills, a $5 bill, and five ones. One, two, three, four, five. So let's see, 20, 40, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50. So household does have $50.
Guilt Free is going to get a hundred dollars. I did make some changes to my budget. I usually give um, household a hundred and fifty dollars. Um, I do get my house professionally cleaned once a month and that is a hundred dollars a month. I am not going to have my cleaning lady come this month because I do have some extra expenses coming up with Mother's Day, Father's Day, and then my family has some birthdays in the month of May and June. And then also because I am a teacher and I am going to be off work during the summer, so I will have more time to clean my house. So I probably will resume with having my house professionally cleaned once a month when I go back to work in August. So I took the $100 I usually give to household and I um, added $100 to guilt free because I tend to spend a lot more money in the spring and summer. So I did make that adjustment to my budget. Gas is going to get $340. So let's give it, I guess we're gonna have to give it 20s. 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 100, 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 200. 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 300, 320, 340. That should be right. Let's check. 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 120, 140, 160, 180, 200, 220, 240, 260, 280, 300, 320, 340. So that is $340. And lastly, food is going to get $500. I did decrease my food budget. I think I budgeted $560 last month and then I went ahead and decreased it to 500 because I do have a lot of food on hand. My freezer is completely stocked. So I really only need to get produce. And then I did um, Keep it at 500, that way I have money to eat out if I want, but I'm really hoping that I do not use this full $500 this month. I was gonna budget $400 for food this month, but I did not want to set myself up for failure, so I went ahead and budgeted on the high end for the 500, and then if I have money left over, great. If not, it was already um, budgeted for the month. So let's count this, this should be $500, so let's see. 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 100, 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 200, 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 300, 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 300, 20, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, 400, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 65, 70, 75, 80, 81, 82, 83, 84, 85, 86, 87, 88, 89, 90, 91, 92, 93, 94, 95, 96, 97, 98, 99, 100. So that is $500. So my food envelope is going to have a lot of bills in it, but that is okay. I just wanted to stuff my envelopes because I am a little bit late and I am starting to spend more money, so I wanted to have my envelopes stuffed. I did have some rollover money from April, so I have been using that money, and I think I only have like $4 left now. It is May 10th, so I definitely needed to stuff my cash envelopes. How have you guys been doing with your budget? I have to admit that I have really been struggling. Um, I started my financial journey in January of 2020. I felt like last year I was really consistent with my budget and tracking my expenses and just staying on top of my budget. As I have met a lot of my financial goals, I've gotten a little relaxed or I've relaxed a lot. So I definitely want to get back on track and be more consistent with budgeting. Last year, I would 
update my tracker daily. I have not been consistent with doing that. I still am making progress with my debt and overall I am staying on budget. However, I really want to tighten up my budget that way I can align my spending with my financial goals. I do want to start um, tackling more debt, so I'm going to need to tighten up my budget. That way I have more money to send to debt. Well, that concludes today's video. I really hope that you enjoyed this video. If you enjoyed this video or found it helpful in any way, please give this video a thumbs up and definitely consider hitting that subscribe button to join me on my financial journey. I would love to have you become a part of the family. I look forward to seeing you guys in my next video. I hope that you guys have an amazing day. Bye. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. It really does help out my channel a lot.